Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith, and on this week's episode of Make It Real, we're going to make a laser-powered bat signal. So originally we wanted to make a full-size bat signal, but after we started looking into it, we realized it would be really difficult to collimate that much light on such a large scale without very expensive optics. So we started thinking how we could make it smaller and simpler, and what we came up with was using a laser instead. So this is a 2.5 watt blue laser from banggood.com. If you remove the focusing element, you can actually turn the laser into basically a high-powered flashlight of collimated light, which means if you put a stencil or a template in front of it, you can actually project that image, and in this case it will be a bat signal. But first, let me show you how powerful this is. So we got the laser mounted on a tripod and we're ready to burn some stuff. But safety first, this is a high powered laser and it's very important to protect your eyes. So as you can see it's pretty powerful and it can burn wood quite easily. And this is actually marketed towards DIY kits to convert a 3D printer into a laser engraver. So we're actually going to tape this onto the head of the laser cutter and we're going to engrave some patterns so you can see it in action. We've got the laser set up now and we're just going to plug her in and start etching our pattern. That is not bad for such a tiny little laser. To put that in perspective, this laser cutter, the real laser, is 80 watts, whereas this is just 2.5 watts. And as you can see, it works quite well. But enough about the laser. Let's hack this into a bat signal. So if you put a stencil in front, as you can see, it projects it quite nicely. But there's a lot of overfill light to the side, so we're going to have to turn this light into a big circle. So let's start building. Alright, so we started by throwing a 3D CAD model together of what we wanted this to look like. Alright, let's grab some scrap metal. These will work perfectly. Almost as if we designed it for it. Alright, so we have our metal pipe, which we're going to use for the enclosure, we have the laser, and then we laser cut some circles out of acrylic to actually hold the laser inside of the metal pipe. And then we have a magnifying glass to help focus the light, and finally, our bat-shaped aperture. Alright, so, it's that simple. As you can see, we've got our two main pieces, the inner pipe and the outer pipe. And the reason we did this was actually to be able to control the zoom of the bat signal. So by moving the pipe forwards and backwards, we can control the size of the bat logo. And to do that, we just wrapped some electrical tape in two places to give it a bit of a snug fit. Alright, let's see what this thing can do. Lights, please. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is going to work on the clouds.